प्रभु Alright, so for the Jinga Alu Costa, Jinga, I have no idea what they call it in English. In English, it's one of the. Uh, it's a type of gourd, I guess. Yeah, just a gourd vegetable. Um, you can you you can do Jinga Alu Costa with many things. You can do it with just potatoes. You can do it with um, with pumpkin. You can do it with cauliflower. You can do it with many different varieties of things. This Jinga Post is a classic though, it's like a Bengali classic, so that's why we're doing it. Unfortunately, it's the end of the season, so the Jinga is actually terrible quality, <laughs> unfortunately. It should still cook okay, it shouldn't be a problem, um, but it will change it a bit. I didn't think of that, I, that's one reason I never do Jinga Post at this, uh, for this cooking course, because it's just too late in the season. Um, okay, so the potatoes are slightly boiled, they shouldn't be fully cooked. They're just slightly boiled. That way, um, you don't have to worry about them sticking to the pot. They cook faster. You can boil them with a little bit of salt. Um, the chance, the chance is kalajira or kalanji, ginger, and then I'm just going to use one chili for all of that. You could use a half a chili even. I'll use one. I think it should be alright. Uh, fresh. So chumps is kalanji seeds? Kalanji seeds, ginger, chili. That's it. Green chili? Green chili. The most of the taste is with the, uh, with the poppy seed taste, the pasta. Yeah, the pasta, the meaning of pasta is poppy seed. For those of you who didn't catch that. So jingalo pasta means the, the main ingredient is your poppy seed paste, which we'll add at the end. Well, if you're flying to Singapore, don't get any poppy seeds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, don't do that. It is only poppy seeds or you have mixed anything with poppy seeds? Just poppy seeds. Only poppy seeds. How you prepare the poppy seed in um, a blender, the, the um... I'll tell you. So first you want to boil the poppy seeds. You boil them first and then let them sit in the hot water for about a half hour. What? You boil them and let them sit in the hot water for about a half hour. How long, what is the proportionate of water with the... You just boil the poppy seeds. You want to throw away the water afterwards. But you want to boil them just to soften them up. It's the same principle with the cashew and muggas. You boil them so that when you grind them in the blender, they grind easily and they become like a finer paste. It's just easier. Otherwise, the grinders can never do it right. Um, yeah, so that's the poppy seed paste. How long we boil it it's not so specific. Yeah, like half hour, you want to just let it sit and soak. That way, the um, they soften up. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna do it with ghee. Don't worry, mustard oil will come. No, no, I will ask. <laughs> He's worried I'll not use a mustard oil. Um, usually they, I use ghee and then I use mustard oil at the end, raw. Okay. Just a little bit. How you tell if kalanji is fried because it is black, then it's by the smell. And time, I guess. They cook fast. It depends on the heat of the ghee, really. If your heat, if your heat is at the right temperature, then anything cooks fast. Really. Don't use hing in this. Hing just um, spoils the taste. It, it'll change it. You'll lose the uh, freshness and then the, uh, the strong taste of the poppy seed. In uh, countries where you don't get white poppy, then you can use um, white sesame. It's pretty good. It is a substitute. It's different, but it is a, it is a substitute. Um, I have heard of people using the black poppy as well. I don't know. Never used it. No, black poppy. I don't know how it comes out. Definitely, it become like a little bit black. So these potatoes are. They're boiled, and then you want to cool them down as well. You don't want them to be, like the like what Prabhu said, you don't want them to remain hot, then they'll just overcook. 
Can I get a metal? A metal one. A metal pen, please. Get one of the pencils better. Yep, perfect. I like the shallow fry, personally. Depends on what you're trying to get, you know? It depends on the cuisine as well. There's a certain, certain specific preps are, they do it in a certain way because it's been done like that for so long to get that specific taste. Like, like the best examples, like um, like Western, certain preps in Western style cooking, like lasagna or, you know, those things which are classic that everybody knows, they do them in a certain way because they work like that. Mm -hmm. You can always change it up a little bit. Mm. Or like what Prabhu just showed then, that's a classic way of doing a mixed veg. You can always change things up, but... Same, same answer. You're going to get the same answer out of me. It depends on you. Depends on what you're... You be in our way, we will get a mask now. You'll leave this course. It's only eight days, you know. I won't have a, you know, big impact on the way you, if you're ever going to cook in the future. I won't have a big impact on how you're going to do things. It's mainly just certain techniques and principles that you want to... So you just want a shallow fry, stir fry that for a couple minutes until they start to go brown around the edges. Then add the ginger. You can add the salt at this time. Gonna add a little bit of water. You don't usually need to add water with ginga because they're quite full of water, but these are a bit dry. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. The salt usually pulls the water out of the subji enough that you don't have to add anything. So I'm going to cook this for a few minutes and then I'll put the pasta in and then finish the cooking. So it should be done in like 10 minutes or so. Um, it's as simple as that. Are there any questions regarding what I've shown or what Prabhu has shown? Any questions at all? See the potato or yeah. need to be boiled or we can cook it just like that? Boil it a little bit. Yeah. So you say when like like Guruko you don't boil it. I remember. We just boil it. We also boil it. Boil it. <laughs> this is this is next level Guruko. <laughs> <laughs> No, I can Bengali. say that because I went there for many years. Oh, well, in traditional <laughs> I was in Bengali 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 also, also never uh, boiled the uh, potato. Sorry? For the traditional Bengalis also, they never uh, boiled it. Um, no, that's not true. Mm -hmm. That's because not true. We never I, have, I have seen from many cooks who slightly boil the potatoes first. That just brings, uh, you know, removes the starch. Huh. So when you are cooking, otherwise, if you had to put the potatoes directly, it starts keeping on the pan. That's like I said, people do it different ways. Um, I have found, I have seen people that have done this, and I've tried it myself, and I get better results. Okay. That's why I started. Okay. It's just what you what you see is better. It's a, cooking is a specific thing. <laughs> Also again with like poppy seed paste, people add it in different times. You can add it at the very end, some people add it in the beginning, some people add it like when I'm adding it now, right in between, to kind of cook it a little bit. So use like one and a half, should be enough. One and a half of these spoons. Please when you're cooking, don't make a mistake of putting, making a mistake of between Poppy paste and cashew paste. <laughs> and we'll end up having cashew paste in the posta and <laughs> posta. cashew and posta in the mix up. Uh, Be careful of the ginger. 
Um, if you over fry the ginger, then you get this uh, color like I got. Because I'm, because I'm talking and doing it, then I just overdo the ginger. Don't overdo the ginger. You just want to slightly do the ginger. Basically, as soon as you put the ginger in, just kind of stir it around in the ghee and then add your potatoes. Can we you use some turmeric? You added the salt just like after the jinga. Yeah. It's almost the reason. Um, you want to pull the water out of the jinga. If you put the salt into the potatoes, then um, water comes out from the potatoes and it creates a... Um, sticky. It becomes sticky. It becomes just a sticky mess. You don't want any, usually when you're stir frying potatoes, you don't want water. You want to do it in high heat, um, just to eliminate the chance of the starches and the water coming out of the potatoes. Can we use turmeric? Turmeric and pasta. People, have, people do. Depends on, again, what you want to get. I wouldn't add much. Like shukta as well, a lot of the time it's just white. Shukta is off, off the white. Some, some people put a little bit of turmeric. Just a little bit to give it a yes. slight yellow tinge. Yes. Which is also nice. I don't. This looks very sappy, I think. The, um, the rice, I set around 15 minutes. But since you're doing small quantities, you only maybe five, seven minutes on the fire. That's enough. The rice is over there. It's done. So once you put the water in and it starts to boil, you put the lid on, turn the flame all the way down, and just leave it for around five or seven minutes. It should be perfect. Okay, so we're going to start cooking because it's getting late. But just to finish this up, what we're going to do at the end is add a little bit of mustard, raw mustard oil. In this amount, maybe, um, what is that, like a tablespoon? So maybe like a half a tablespoon we'll add. Not even, like a quarter of a, ta a third of a tablespoon we'll add in this amount. It'll give a mustard flavor. That's about it. It gives it a little bit of mustard flavor, which goes really nice in the um, in the pasta with the poppy seed. Um, that and a little bit of coriander leaves, just a little bit. Okay. It's almost done. The jinga the jinga just needs to cook a little bit longer. Okay, just one minute. In this vegetable, we forgot to add coriander, so that's small detail. Yeah, and they, in the doll as well, the coriander. Okay. Curry leaves, they don't use. Curry leaves for what? You can? In South India. It goes South India, then. For some, uh, for uh, curry leaves, we had it, had it in early on, during this... Uh, ah, Chonsen. Yeah. You fry the curry leaves. So you can always add curry leaves. Then that goes good with like a mustard, mustard seeds as well. That's nice. But today, Everybody do what I did. And for the next uh, seven days, do the same doll. Everybody got that? So, so because what we're going to be doing at the end, once everybody's done, we'll have three or four buckets, and we're just going to mix everybody's preparations together. So if we have seven different dolls, it's going to be a little bit hectic. It's going to be a little, a little bit weird. Um, so everybody just do the same recipe, the same spicing, everything like I did today, and then hopefully we'll have not too crazy of a doll at the end. Um, try to keep it similar to what we did with the prep as well, so that it's not like we're mixing different subjects together. Unfortunately, it's the only way I've found to manage it. Otherwise, you have eight different subjects, 16, 32 basically pots. Like today's four subjects, eight groups, so you have 32 pots at the end. So it's just too, um, too many things to wash, too hectic. So uh, we're going to mix it all together. Alright? Nobody boil potatoes, so you have to boil potatoes first, wash them with cold water, and then let them dry out a bit, and then cook them. Okay, you guys can start cooking. Go for it. I'll, like I said, if for, for those of you who, had, who didn't hear, I'm going to just put a third of a, a tablespoon of mustard oil 
raw mustard oil, and then I'm going to put a little bit of coriander leaves, and it's done. Yep. Okay, do 